Good morning, Booktube. Good morning, Yarntube. Good morning, YouTube. Good morning, you. Hello. It's Tuesday the 7th of November. Monday the 6th of November has happened. It was one of those days. It really was one of those days. It's about quarter past nine here. Breakfast. Second cup of tea. You're getting to know my routine, aren't you now? Um, but slightly different this morning. I'm eating this and then I've got one or two little jobs to do and then I'm off at. I'm off at. Re-computer and phone and everything like that. The husband came home and he, after our, we had tea, and we let the day relax, he did have a good look on the computer for me as to how it could, we still can't get it to do it. Still can't get the telephone, the phone, iPhone, telephone the iPhone um, and the computer to recognise each other. This seems to be the issue. But what I can do is I can airdrop things. So it is a workaround and it doesn't fix the, the problem. So I'm going to have to book an appointment with Mr Apple and say, could you and all your other fruits help me out here um, to see what, what the problem is there um because that does event that's going to have to be sorted but for the time being it looks like i can still do this and that's the main thing so hurrah hurrah so i felt the hugs i'm feeling the hugs i'm getting messages coming through going oh dear um so but i'm sure it'll work out we'll be fine we'll be fine i'm i'm trusting that now monday the 6th has happened um it will all get better it was a, such a funny day. I can't even begin to tell you the amount of things that went wrong yesterday. Um, but it was quite good. You know, somebody has to have that day. And I had it for, for everybody. Somebody else's day today. Somebody else's annoying day. Anyway, I hope you're having a good Tuesday. And I will um, take you along with on my exciting trip. my treat i went to the cinema this morning with my friend which is lovely yeah i do i do have a friend yeah yeah oh i know i know you're thinking i thought you were just all books and yarn but no i do occasionally go out and and see people um so i met her at the light cinema in cambridge and we went to see surprise surprise a murder on the orient express she is a huge agatha christie fan as well and she was telling me that she remembers her first agatha christie and she was over from australia which is where she was born and brought up and she was nine and three quarters and her first book was um the 450 from paddington which she bought at paddington station so how cool is that um, my first Agatha Christie was, of course, Dumb Witness. Uh, so we were exchanging Agatha Christie stories. So we went to see it. So Kenneth Branagh's Murder on the Orient Express. Um, I am not very precious about Agatha Christie's stories. I think um, you can do what you will with them. Um, so if you don't want to know my opinion, then zoom forward a little bit. Um, however, if you don't mind my opinion, I should give my opinion. It was it was very good. It was very cinematic and what have you. I just felt that 
it was too much Kenneth Branagh. So he's playing Hercule. Um, and there's this brilliant cast, you know, ensemble cast with some brilliant names like Michelle Pfeiffer and and Dame Judi Dench and Olivia Colman and, and Johnny Depp, who I'm not that keen on. Um, but some really fabulous names and Derek Jacobi and and they just it was too much, Kenneth Branagh. It was it was and although they he kind of says, Oh, there are some surprises in there. I mean, they actually, I think they were quite faithful to the story, apart from one bit, which I was just like, what? That just... I felt they took too many liberties with Hercule Poirot's character. And they made it too much about him instead of this amazing ensemble cast. So I loved the scenery and the setting and the sense of place. And, of course, it's, it's Murder on the Orient Express, so I love the story. But I just had some reservations. It still was a fabulous two hours sat there this morning with my chum. Um, and then we sat and had coffee afterwards and put the world to rights and caught up and, and chatted and chatted and chatted, which was which was brilliant. So that was it was a great day. Great day so far. So while I was waiting for her, because I got there a bit early so that I could get the tickets and what have you. Um, I was reading more of my book, Elizabeth May's The Falconer. And, and I told told my friend, I said, oh, it's non-fiction November. And I showed her my book and she went, that's non-fiction. I was like, no, 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 no. <laughs> what a book if it was. Um, So my, I am what? I'm only 50 pages in. It's going to have to jolly up a little bit. At the moment, I have read this story better. Um, At the moment... I have, I, it's, it's too similar to other stories that I have read and I, they're better. So it's going to have to pull its socks up in the next 50 pages. Otherwise I'm going to be bored with it. I can, I can already feel the ennui, the, um, is setting. So that's not good. And then when we were sat having our coffee, I was working on my sock head hat so this is the sock head hat that i'm actually making for myself as in this is the hat i want rather than just wearing a hat that i happen to have done it in so this is my sugar plum from stranded dye works um and it is beautiful yarn i'm really to begin with i was a bit i wasn't that keen on it to begin with i was a bit like oh i'm not sure but actually now, the more I'm working with it, the more I am adoring it and seeing the colours come out. I think it's going to be gorgeous. <laughs> so there we go. So excitement for the rest of the day is that I'm having a cup of tea. Hello, tea. Hello. Oh, yes. Much needed. And then in about half an hour, I'm taking Benedict to his drama lesson. And then it's dinner and oh, so but, but it's been a great Tuesday. So much better than yesterday. I mean, yesterday wasn't a bad day. Can I just say, I have been feeling your hugs. You've been sending hugs and, and, and they've been all across the world. I've had hugs from across the world. So I'm feeling much, much love today. So everybody that sends me a hug, I hug you back. You know that you are receiving a hug back. So every time I read a comment and you say hug, and or just I know that there are hugs out there for me. So that, that has been glorious today. That has really, really been fabulous today. So hopefully all goes well. I'm going to be able to magic this um, onto the computer and I'll be able to set it up. So that's probably going to be it for the, re the rest of the day now, I think. Yes, I think so. And I will catch up with you tomorrow. Tomorrow, I'm hoping that I'm going to do my first part of my question and answer, including the giveaway. That's what I'm going to do tomorrow. All right, then. See you later, booktube and yarntube and YouTube and, and everybody that happens to catch this. And um, yes, so all. Oh.